Hello, welcome to Community Living with your girl Malebo. If you're new to the channel, please remember to subscribe. And if you're stopping back by and just continuously supporting the channel, you know the jingle by now. So sing along with my little cousin who definitely watches the channel, and I thought it was very cute for him to be the opening act for the year 2022. This is our very first video, and I'm very much excited about him singing and just you know um opening up for us so without any further ado let's go to that side i was singing a bit too much but yes welcome back welcome back welcome back welcome back welcome back welcome back okay so wasn't that lovely 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 i feel like it's a good thing that he is the one watching youtube um like already watching youtube and we don't know what like his youtube career is gonna be like or any career that he's gonna go into but that's definitely like so cute for me to see him doing that um yeah so before we go into all and everything that's going to be covered i just want to introduce what we're going to be talking about so we will be talking about the base very basic intro to freelancing so that is the topic of the day and before we go into the topic first one is to celebrate the fact that we are now reached and surpassed the 5000 mark 5000 subscriber mark so i am very much appreciative very much excited and I'm super elated guys i'm super super elated um the channel is definitely taking the right direction right form and i'm seeing the engagement that i've been you know praying for for all these years and i really hope that uh, like it's adding value to each and everyone that has subscribed and we're just going to be able to cover and add value in different ways you know the Different people sign up for different reasons, but we really hope that we're gonna be able to cover each and every reason that you might have um, signed up for, right? And another topic is that we have finally monetized. So the channel has made over $30 already. So we monetized um, early Jan, I think around the 8th of Jan, that's when the ching ching starting to come into the bank when it comes to YouTube ads. So when you see an ad, I'm not saying you should watch it, but I'm just saying, I'm just saying, okay, okay. So yes, I will definitely be sharing more about that, uh, the journey leading to monetization. You guys know I share numbers. I'm very transparent, I'm transparent about my journey. I'm very transparent about my finances, how I make money, how you could potentially make money from the things that I'm making money from. So be on the lookout for that as well. And then just uh, another thing is that we will be covering one financial literacy to making money online the third one is potentially christian content i'm not sure which shape or format or how often christian content is going to be covered or even financial literacy because we definitely have a lot more of a bigger audience that has like you know a lot of things that they're looking forward to when it comes to the channel but the shape and format that we're going to take in terms of prioritizing content is what you guys um want Re like really um we're gonna run quick polls on various social media pages with this specific episode i did run a poll but just on the platform that i have the biggest following which is tiktok and everyone it voted for freelancing like they want to have an understanding of what freelancing is they want to know how to get started um they just want to know if there are any skills or qualifications um that you need for freelancing and how do you actually make money from freelancing right so those are some of the things that will be discussed and those are the things that a lot of people were asking about and we will definitely take you through each and every one of those topics so watch all the way till the end if you are interested in any of the subtopics that we have mentioned because we're definitely going to be covering it so as i've mentioned already that there will be a bit of christian element the very first thing is to start off with prayer every single episode be it a christian uh, episode christian content episode or be it financial literacy be it making money online 
we are definitely going to start off with prayer because I feel like prayer is so instrumental to each and everything that I am doing. Uh, prayer, prayerful life is important for even you as the viewer. Um, it might be that you don't believe in God or Christianity and stuff and I hope it doesn't offend you at all that we are praying before we start the session but that is um, how I do things in you know this part of the world. So I'm, I just want to be forthcoming with that, that it is definitely going to be something that we do. So I'm just going to close my eyes and hopefully I don't pull the undertaker on you all because my eyes can't close fully. <laughs> but yeah. Father, we come to you in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you for the day. We thank you for the person that is watching. We thank you, Father, for the session. May it be a fruitful one. May it add value unto their life. May they be able to have an understanding of what it is that I'm explaining. And may I also find the words, O oh Lord, Father, to be able to um, eloquently explain exactly what it is when it comes to uh, how to make money uh, from freelancing and we thank you for this platform we thank you for the community that we're about to have due to this platform as well and we just ask that may you be at the center of it all in the mighty name of our lord jesus christ we thank you amen so that is the prayer as i mentioned and the very first thing that we are going to go into is what exactly is freelancing right so it is characterized by quite a number of things and uh, i just want to have a breakdown so from the research that i've done disclaimer before we go into this i'm not in any shape or form a freelancer but i do have an understanding of what freelancing is so this is just to speak about freelancing from a perspective of what it is not necessarily from like a very technical point of view how do you become a freelancer on marketplaces and all those things things that are confusing this is just basic basic intro to freelancing for anyone that's like mm -mm, i'm getting confused right so the characteristics of uh basically a freelancer is that one you are an independent laborer who earns money based on the jobs or tasks that they are doing or that they complete for a specific project so it is most of the time known for benefits such as being able to work from home it doesn't necessarily mean that every single freelancer works from home um, but the packs or what it's known for is that you get to work from home you get to work uh, for yourself you get to have a flexible work schedule and you're working on multiple uh, projects with multiple clients right so those are some of the things that you get to um, experience as a freelancer and I've already mentioned the benefits of it um the thing being able to take on projects that you're interested in you're not necessarily hired by anyone as mentioned the independent part is so pivotal you're an independent laborer meaning you choose tasks that you work on you choose clients um that you work on well some will approach you but you still decide do i want your business or not based on xyz that i've stipulated for myself maybe uh, whatever you're um, asking me to pay me is not according to my standard or whatever the case might be and then the second question would be do you need any skills or qualifications to be able to uh, be a freelancer so the that question is not a hard yes or hard no reason being that you don't necessarily need a qualification per se but having a qualification really does go a long way in ensuring that you can prove to your prospective clients that yes this person is actually qualified or has the skills to do the work you know because there are a lot of people out there that are claiming to be able to do xyz and without the um the necessary qualification or necessary uh, certifications it might be hard to prove to a client 
especially if you're starting out once you've started out obviously you will have things like clients testimonies that can go into your portfolio that you can use to say um okay this is a project that i've done with malebu and malebu was happy with one two three that i did for her you can contact malebu if you want to ask her about the project that we had um, and how satisfied she was about the project that i worked on for her right so that is the very important thing to understand that it increases your chances but it's not it's it's not a requirement uh but because it increases your chances you do want to get one and then how or where do you get started so you decided that okay i think this freelancing thing is definitely something that i want to do so what do you do from there so the very first thing would be to determine what is called an offer right so every freelancer has an offer to a prospective client to say i offer xyz and this is how i offer it and um these are the skills that i have so you kind of have to determine that and your offer must look into things like the market that you operate in you must be well versed you must have an understanding of the market that you're going to be looking into because some of these things are put in a place like a marketplace it doesn't mean that every single person that goes to a marketplace is a prospective client so the moment you can niche it down or you can drill it down to the t to say that i'm actually looking for 27 year old females that are black that live in south africa east london or whatever the case might be then it helps you to be able to put up a great offer right because you know your target group really well you do your market research so the first thing is the market research right market research entails understanding your target or audience understanding how they operate understanding how they think understanding what it is that they want from you understanding your competitors as well so uh, how are they pricing uh, how are they how are their profiles looking like if you're going to go the profile route and so forth and then the results what exactly can you offer your prospective client right so the results will be what will help you um pitch to your client say okay uh for example if you're a freelancer that designs youtube thumbnails so youtube thumbnail is that thing that you see before you click on a, a youtube right a youtube video and uh you design those things so you have to one do your market research as i've mentioned and it could be that in your market research you realize that okay i want to actually cater for people that are starting out with their youtube channel meaning that they haven't made money they probably don't have a budget so they will look for things that are very very cheap um, and you might have to lower your price but the result is that they still want a good click-through rate they still want uh, their thumbnail to look good to look professional and to uh, look like they know what they're doing as much as they're starting out right and you're helping them with years of experience with your skill sets with all those things then the very last thing on your offer is which skills are actually going to help you to be able to achieve that right so it could be that um, you are one a graphic designer so you could say okay my graphic designing skills will be what will help me um, be able to design a youtube a youtube thumbnail that is great that is um that captures the attention of the viewer that makes sure that your click through rate increases all those things and maybe you've got some form of certification that can prove that you know graphic design and so forth so then you will put something like this together i help that will be your target audience or your market to that will be the results that you'll be able to give to them through those will be the skills that you know you have able to help them 
to get whatever it is through your skill sets right so that is basically the offer that you will put together and these offers are usually placed on what is called marketplaces right and even on your social media you can definitely use the same concept i help small accounts small youtube accounts to create strong and appealing youtube thumbnails that have a high click through rate through the knowledge that i've learned via graphic design right so something like that could be a potential example you don't have to use it only on uh, marketplaces or freelancing marketplaces you can use it even on your social media so how do you actually make money so the question would be how do you make money so you make money by finding clients that are willing to take you on uh, as a freelancer is how you can potentially make money by doing discovery calls you can also use um, marketplaces freelancing market places such as upwork um, i'm just gonna list the top five upwork uh, freelancer um fiverr guru and people per hour right so that's essentially it for this episode this episode i really hope that it has just introduced you to what exactly is um freelancing how and where do we get started right and then uh what are some of the skills or qualifications that you need as well as how do you make money right so we'll we can cover maybe the different marketplace platform so if you want to um see these different ma freelancing marketplaces the platforms that i've just listed and you want to get more into them as to how they work how they assist you in your freelancing journey please type marketplace below and if we get about 100 people that type marketplace be below then we'll cover marketplaces and we'll have a part two of um, basic intro to freelancing so i really hope that this basic intro has really uh, opened your eyes to what freelancing is all about and you will then decide if it's something that is worth it as per udemy uh, advertisement on the different type of qualifications that you can find on udemy just here so i did show a video of this on my youtube on my tiktok um, i'm also just going to insert it here so that you can be able to go through it in your own time and see the different types of freelancing gigs that are out there so thank you very much i really hope that you are now understanding a bit more about freelancing and may god bless you and keep you may his face shine upon you and may he be gracious unto you and your family and your loved ones and have a blessed a blessed life blessed month blessed year bless everything and yes see you on the next episode of community living love you